Master the art of persuasion and influence in debates. Hello, learners. Today we're diving into an advanced debate strategy that can take your argumentative skills to the next level. We're going to explore how you can master the art of persuasion and influence in debates. This strategy is not just about winning debates, it's about communicating effectively and convincingly. So, are you ready to boost your debating skills? Let's get started. First and foremost, it's essential to know what we mean by persuasion and influence. Persuasion is an act of getting people to do or believe something through reasoning or the use of temptation. On the other hand, influence is the ability to affect or change how someone behaves or thinks, often through indirect or unconscious means. When debating, your goal is to persuade your audience and influence their thoughts, aligning them with your point of view. It's about presenting your arguments so effectively that others can't help but agree with you. The first step in persuasion is building credibility. Your audience needs to see you as a knowledgeable and trustworthy source. Establish your expertise on the subject matter. Use credible sources to support your argument and present your ideas clearly and logically. It's also essential to appear confident and composed. Remember, if you believe in your argument, others will too. To influence your audience, you must understand them. Who are they? What do they value? What motivates them? Once you understand your audience's needs and interests, you can tailor your arguments to resonate with them. To be persuasive, your arguments must align with your audience's beliefs, values, and experiences. Highlight the benefits of your argument from their perspective. Often, people are driven more by emotion than by logic. So, incorporating an emotional appeal in your arguments can make them more persuasive. Share stories, use descriptive language, and express your passion for the topic. However, remember to balance emotion with facts. Too much emotion can come off as manipulative and may detract from your credibility. Repeating your key points can reinforce your arguments and help your audience remember them. This is why in debates, we often see speakers summarizing their arguments at the end. But remember, repetition is not about saying the exact same thing over and over. It's about reiterating your points in different ways to ensure they stick in your audience's minds. And there you have it. Mastering the art of persuasion and influence in debates is not about manipulation. It's about understanding your audience, building your credibility, making emotional connections, and reinforcing your key points. These strategies can make you not just a better debater, but a more persuasive communicator in all areas of life. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more advanced debate strategies and happy debating.